Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create an animated series in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Creating a series of videos with Doodly is a great way to keep your audience informed and tuned in. Here's what you need. A plan. Plan out your topics and create an order for them that makes sense. Once you have your calendar ready, start outlining each episode. It's a good idea to have the outlines ready for the entire series so you can reference other episodes as needed. Eventually you're going to need multiple scripts. Decide which voice you're going to use, so are you going to use first person or third person, and what characters you plan to use for your video. And then write text for the first episode in your series. Consider making a basic template that contains your intro and outro, your main characters, and your headings, your, your fonts that you're going to use consistently throughout the series. This will help you get started right away with each episode, and it'll create a consistent feel between them. Once you have these elements ready, then it's time to start animating and recording. Doodly is an easy way to record a series of videos, so we're going to create a quick example today on sexual harassment prevention tips. So I went ahead and brainstormed several different topic ideas for a series of videos. So, so far I'm going to have a series of four short videos on sexual harassment prevention. That's not to say that I won't add more in the future, but at least I know, okay, I've got a good start on a series here. In the interest of time, I've gone ahead and started this video. So I have my opening scene, and this for my series, I think will always be the opening scene. Okay, so when we're making a template, we're gonna want this scene here. Of course, the information in the whiteboard will change, okay? And I went through and I made a series of scenes just with the headings and I did the voiceover. So this already is the basis of a template. So my series will always have a series of tips with headings. Okay. And then I'll just create some characters in here to represent what's being said. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete these because we no longer need them. And because I have the bare bones created already, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go back to my videos and you'll see I have animated series. What I want to do is duplicate it because I want to save this as a template. So if I go over here to actions and click this icon here, duplicate, it's going to create an exact copy of this. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this. I right click, choose rename, and I'm going to call it template and save it. Now that is always going to be there for me with just the bare bones and I can then easily create a new video for my series just by duplicating that once again and working with the copied version to create a new video. So now let's go back into our animated series original. Now I can make changes with this. And we have our topic here. Don't compliment someone's appearance or physique. So we're going to go to our characters and we're going to find a man and a woman. She's going to be a little annoyed that the man is complimenting her. And then we just go over to our next scene and we want to represent two feet of space. So we're going to just use these same characters. And let's see if we have a, a double sided arrow. We don't have a double sided one, but we can make one with using two. So I'm going to take one of these and flip it 
and then I'm gonna take the other I'm gonna these side by side so they're joined like so now it's too large for a scene so I'm grouping them by control clicking them both and now I can just resize it and reposition it like so and then we'll put some text on top like that and then you would continue on with your video as you see I do have a voiceover since I've added time to my scenes I need to adjust the timing and I'm going to show you how to do that right now if you click show preview you get this smaller preview window our company has a zero tolerance policy for sexual harassment okay and what you can do is you can use this playhead to quickly scrub through your video so here's the beginning of the scene that I want to adjust. If I click play, don't compliment someone's appearance or physique. This could be construed as sexual harassment. Respect the... So you'll see right here is where I want the scene to end because now I have the voiceover for the following scene. So I can do my adjustments over here under duration have to decide do I want to draw on the text or do I want to draw on the people or what do I want to do I think I will have the people existing in the scene so I'm going to do a zero duration for both the man and the woman and I would probably like the words to draw on as I'm saying it don't compliment someone's appearance or physique and then I want to real quick have this appear. So make that one second and then that one and a half seconds. And I still have two seconds here when the other scene comes in. So if I go to scene settings and change it from four seconds to two seconds. And you'll see now my timing is perfect. So if I go to the beginning of the scene, right before it when it swipes. Star. Don't compliment someone's appearance or physique. This could be construed as sexual harassment. Respect the person's per And that's perfect. So we'll do the same for the next scene. And I, again, I think I'll have the characters already on screen. So I'm turning that to zero and I'm moving down the actual bullet point. So that comes on right as I say the words. And then my arrows certainly don't need a six second drawing time for these arrows. So I'm going to do as short as I can go. And we want this one to draw on first so I'm going to move that up and then this one and then the two feet and that doesn't need to be a second and a half I can be really short so again let's move our playhead and you'll see over here we're pretty close because this is my new audio and this is where that scene takes place so let's go ahead and look respect the person's personal space by staying at least two feet away from them at all times Never call another employee cute or handsome. Okay, so all we need to do is cut down this this end time on this scene by about half a second. So let's make it three and a half seconds. Maybe even three seconds, okay? And that's perfect. And of course, you will just continue building your video scene by scene as I've shown you here. You'll probably want to add a call to action at the very end. So maybe you want to have your company logo and your contact information here as your outro. So we can do that just real quickly. Now we built this outro after we already created that template. So we want to get this only this scene into that template, right? So here's how you can do that. 
you want to select everything in the scene. You could do it by control or command clicking over here, or you could go control or command all, and then you have them selected that way. So once they're selected, you want to copy it. So control or command copy. So that's copied. Let's go ahead and save this. And we're going to exit and we're going to go back to our template. I'm going to scroll over to the end, add a new scene, and then we're going to go Command or Control, and this depends on if you're on Windows or Mac, V. And there it is. I pasted it in, and now we'll save it. And that's how you can create an animated series in Doodly. Thanks for watching.